Hello and welcome back to another episode of Shoot the Breeze with the Reeve. My name is Dave Cush and I'm the Reeve of Woodlands County. I would like to take this time to talk about another important aspect of Woodlands County, our committees and boards. Our committees and boards are comprised of council members and members at large. Members at large are members of the public who volunteer their time to be able to come and help county uh, shape policy and guide our budgets around different aspects in different areas of the county. With that being said, I would like to pass the camera over to some of our members and let them explain what they do and how they help shape the county into what it is today. Thank you. Hi there, my name is Patricia McNeil. I'm a member at large with the Woodlands County Municipal Planning Commission. And I'm here today to talk to you to encourage residents to put their names forward to join our committees like the MPC. You can have a real positive impact and bring your ideas and concerns to the table. And when it comes to something as important as planning and development, we really rely on our local residents with their knowledge and it becomes a crucial part of the planning process. So thank you very much for your time and we really hope to see you put your name forward and see some new faces at the table. My name is Isabel Gill and I am the youth member at large on the Community Service Committee. This committee is a committee that reviews and usually approves grants and bursaries submitted by residents of Woodlands County. Some of the grants I would kind of like to highlight are the recreational grant, the FCSS grant, and the um, YES program. The YES program is a youth enrichment subsidy and it basically is partially or fully covering the expenses of some cultural and recreational activities and sports that your children might want to be a part of. This can help out families that are struggling and their kids still just really want to be in sports and they can't provide that for them. I think it's important to have a youth board member because it gives youth opportunity to kind of show their sides of things on the board and just advise with different things that the county can fund and just kind of give ideas to their peers about what can, is available on the board. Hello, my name is Faye Boshaw and I'm a member at large for the Woodlands County Community Services Board. It is a pleasure to be serving the community on this committee. What we do is we provide direction to FCSS, which is Family and Community Support Services, Recreation and Arts and Culture Programming. We support viably county-created or county-recognized agencies, organizations, and other groups by approving grants, bursaries, and other funding opportunities. We review and approve applications for policies related to community services. We make recommendations to council for capital grants, community services budget, and we also review and, rec and make recommendations to administration for programming and special events. Here behind me, you will see the rodeo grounds, which is just one part of Woodlands County for the public to enjoy. And if you go on our website, you will also see other amenities such as the Blue Ridge Spray Park, the uh, Hardlet Canyon, the tubing drop off where people go tubing down the McLeod River, and various others as indicated in our website. Thank you for joining. Woodlands County has several committees that help as advisory groups to our council when we're making decisions and plans around many different areas in the county. This one here, the Airport Advisory Committee, it is comprised of Woodlands County Council members, Whitecourt Town Council members, forestry, uh, wildfire, and many of our operators here at the airport are part of it. The committee works towards long-term planning on the airport master plan, uh, economic development, revenue generation opportunities, marketing, and discusses environmental and sustainability issues. Good morning, my name is Dale Klein and I sit on the SDAB. The SDAB is uh, an appeal board for decisions made by the Municipal Planning Commission within the county. So if you make an, uh, an application for development within the county and you get turned down by the MPC, you can come to the, to the SDAB and appeal that decision. Sometimes uh, with discussions with the developer or with, with county staff, 
sometimes those development permits can go forward and it might be just some minor out minor changes that need to be made or uh, something that, that the appeal board that the planning commission wasn't aware of within the within the planning documents or within uh, rules that the province will allow. I think the SDB is a very important board because once you make your application that you shouldn't get one one strike and you're out. This way you can they you can come back to the to the as I said to the SDAB, appeal that decision and maybe with some minor changes some things can go forward. The SDAB uh, is basically made up of members of the of the community. They don't meet very often. They only meet with appeals. Uh, but there is some training courses that the county does offer for those members. If you're not familiar with, with planning and you might be interested in that, uh, the county will send you to training courses to bring you, bring you up to speed on what can and can't happen within the county. And it's very quite interesting. So I would encourage anybody that wants to, wants to be in the planning and the development side, I think uh, you might want to let your name stand uh, for, for a committee like that. Hi, my name is Greg Thompson. I live at Fort Assiniboine. Uh, in Woodlands County. I'm a member at large on the Ag Service Board. The board consists of county councillors and like myself members at large and uh, we make uh, decisions for our community on agriculture. Some of the main issues that we deal with are um, wild boar, um, roadside spraying, weed control, brush control, there's numerous others, but that's just to name a few. We uh, have a, a program, uh, VSI it's called. It, uh, it's where the county pays uh, part of the veterinary bill for residents of Woodlands County, which is we're very fortunate to have. Um, not all counties have that, I know, but we do, and it's, it's, uh, it really helps. We make recommendations, we deal with the budget, for the county, which is important to have our perspectives. It's very important to get involved in, in things like boards like this because uh, it brings a, we bring a different perspective to the, to, the, to the board. We're out there, I guess you could say, in the getting our hands dirty and stuff and knowing what it's like. And so we can bring a different perspective to it. It's good for, all the residents to have uh, people involved in our community and and to get involved in it. And finishing off with uh, committees and boards, we have the Woodlands County Library Board. The Woodlands County Library Board meets four times a year, uh, twice at this library in Blue Ridge and twice at the library in Fort Assiniboine, where we discuss the budgets, programming, and different events that they have in either community run by and sponsored by the libraries. Uh, the board members and members at large who get involved get to help kind of guide where those discussions go, what, uh, what type of planning, what type of programming, uh, what type of fundraising, and what type of community events are put on and sponsored by the libraries. Uh, we talk about capital expenditures, whether it be new computers, laptops, uh, desks, books, uh, and I, I guess kind of how, how we spend the money, how we use it, and trying to offer the, uh, the best services and the best programming that we can uh, within the, the budgets that are allotted to us. So public input is greatly appreciated on this board as it helps drive the community and it, it's kind of a hub for the community in both of them. The libraries are very well received and tend to be incredibly busy throughout the year. So wrapping up, uh, we've heard lots of discussion from the other members that we have from the public and from myself on the uh, Woodlands Library Board. Uh, hopefully this kind of inspires people to want to get involved and be a little bit more part of our community and part of the planning that goes, goes along with it without the uh, full commitment of being on council, but being at least able to help drive some of the, the decisions and policies that uh, we run through at our table. So thank you again and hope to see you back for another, another episode of Shoot the Breeze with the Reeve.